Well, the blood drive has been making the rounds all over the South Shore, meaning more pints of blood, also more opportunity to help young Quinn. Quinn Waters, five years old, the mighty Quinn. We met him in his first recovery from medulloblastoma, a type of aggressive brain cancer that required him at first to remain behind the so-called Quindo at his Weymouth home. Then he got to play with the Globetrotters, and now, five years old, his battle rages on as the cancer has returned. He's receiving radiation once again, plus blood and platelet transfusions. And here's how the community is stepping in. Children's Hospital, where he's been receiving treatment, has been bringing their blood mobile around. On this day, in partnership with Quincy Police at the South Shore YMCA, Quincy Branch. Selfishly, from a parent's perspective, anything and everything that I could do personally and make sure that the YMCA on board was to help this family out, we're all in. And instead of feeling bad for themselves and saying, poor us, they got out and pushed it and said, you know, this can happen to anybody. Let's, let's all band together and see what we can do to help other families. And family friend Dan Coughlin, who you just heard from, says he donates platelets every two weeks at Children's, even more critical now during COVID. Next stop, North Quincy. The Boston Cannon's getting involved. One more blood drive this week in honor of Quinn. In Quincy, Josh Brogadier, WCVB News Center 5.